In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Well, good morning. Today is a bittersweet day because today, and I may cry, I'm just gonna warn you. <laughs> today we say goodbye to my home of 35 years. Um, this is where I grew up. And my father lived here until his death uh, 11 years ago. And Gary and I moved on property 10 years ago. And six years ago, we built this beautiful home. But this home now belongs to someone else. And we sold it to follow our dreams of living in Alaska full time. As you know, we love to RV there and it has captured our heart in more ways than one. And after all the events of 2020, we've decided to say goodbye to Washington State and uh, move to Alaska. So this is, this is departure day. We always do a departure day on our trip to, to Alaska and this is it. This is May 6th, 2021 and uh, it's going to be a little different. We are a three car caravan or three vehicle caravan up to Alaska. I will be vlogging this adventure as we go north in COVID times where most people cannot cross the Canadian border, but we are considered essential because we are going home to Alaska. So follow us along and uh, see what beholds us on the road north. But one last look, this is the river house. We're located in Nine Mile Falls along the Spokane River. This has been my home since ninth grade. In 1986, my dad and I moved onto this property. And in 2015, we built this beautiful home. We tore down my dad's house and we built the river house. And uh, she will be missed but it's time for new adventures. What do you think, Spirit? Are you ready to go to Alaska? Huh? You ready to go? You're gonna miss your yard, aren't you? So this is the front of the house. And then of course, we have our shop. And there we are, almost time to go. This is tough, hold on. I didn't think it'd be, uh, it's hard to leave. It's a beautiful house. Did an amazing job. I just hope our new homeowners uh, enjoy the community, enjoy the home as much as we have. This is just an amazing, amazing place. Our, I, I, I know we're doing the right thing, but God, this is hard. Giving up this beautiful home. Oh man, Nine Mile, I love you, the River House, you're amazing, I love you, the property, you can go to hell, the maintenance, you can go to hell, the house, I love, oh. I don't know what to say, but 
off to new new adventures. Yep. That's kind of what our life has been about together. Um, I don't think any adventure we've done yet has been this big. <laughs> well, tearing down the old house and building this. Tearing down the old house is pretty big. This now this is, this is removing us from the community that we both lived in for well, you over thirty five years and me almost forty years. We've lived in this community. It's tough to leave. But we have each other. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's getting late, and we need to get yeah, on the we road. We want to be on the road by 10.30, and it's 9.35. No, we want to be on the road by 10. And it's 9.30, so we need to get going. Yes. Woo! I love you. Love you, too. Alaska, we're coming. We're coming for you. Are you ready? That's it. It's a wrap. The river house is done. We're, uh, we're getting out of here. Man, it's tough. But away we go. The road's calling. I didn't mow my lawn. <laughs> As I said, we are a three car or three vehicle caravan uh, going up. And how we're going to do that, Gary is driving the motor home pulling a 16 foot enclosed trailer. I will be following behind in our 3500 Ram pulling a 20 foot, 24 foot trailer. And then Elsie, our F-150 is pulling an 18 foot flatbed trailer with all of our yard equipment and the Ranger. The Ram has our Polaris and most of our household goods are in this trailer. And then the motor home is gonna be pulling a 16 foot enclosed trailer. We're still getting that hooked up right now, but the motor home will be pulling that. We have our friends Mike and Bobby from Alaska. They flew down and they're gonna drive our third vehicle. And uh, we leave in under an hour. Well, Sophie is all ready to go. She's in her booster. She's riding with me. She's, uh, she still has no idea what's going on. Spirit somewhere on the property. I think she has an idea. She sees us loading the motorhome, so she knows we're going on a motorhome trip. I just don't know if she realizes she won't have her house anymore. definition of a house is a building for human habitation, especially one that is lived in by a family or small group of people. This couldn't be more true for the river house. Sitting on the banks of the Spokane River, this house has been my family home since 1986 when my dad and I moved in the summer before my freshman year of high school. It was then shortly after filled with laughter and love of bonus family members over the years, from stepmothers, brothers and sisters, to a foreign exchange student, to young adults who just needed a place to feel safe or to start their adult lives at with a little help, to a halfway house for friends going through divorces, to being a wedding venue for dear friends of ours, being a home to our house sitters who were only going to stay for a summer while we went to Alaska for the first time, but ended up staying three years to establish roots and grow a family in the Pacific Northwest. 
to a place for fellow RV friends to stop and rest and visit with us, as well as hosting numerous Boondocker welcome guests, to being a hospice house for a dying grandparent. We love you, Papa. To completing the circle of life and being the birthplace of a newborn baby, to providing safe refuge during a world pandemic to those who didn't have a home base of their own. The River House in both old and new form has been home to many. Letting her go wasn't an easy choice for either of us. When we rebuilt her, we thought she would be our forever home, but God had other plans intended for us. He showed us Alaska and all that comes with her beauty, and she pulled us away slowly over the years until we decided it was finally time to let go of the past and build a new future where our hearts are happy and our souls full in Alaska. To the River House, thanks for the many years of memories. May you do the same to your new occupants. We want to thank you for sticking around for this tribute to the River House. Coming up in our next set of videos, we will traverse Canada during COVID times and show you around Alaska as we start our build of our future home and start living like true Alaskans. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that navigation bell to be notified when we post our next videos. Also, please feel free to leave any comments or questions below. We will be happy to answer any questions you may have about our move and our upcoming build. From here on out, it's a slideshow of building a river house back in 2015.
Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again next week here on Living Free Alaska. <laughs>